first impressions, you know? They're really important, and I had a really bad one. When 15-year-old Miranda Larkin went to school in this black skirt, she says she didn't know she was in violation of Oak Leaf High School's dress code. She just points at me from like across the hall. She goes, your skirt is too short. She says a teacher sent her to the school nurse who told her she had to put on this outfit, a neon yellow t-shirt and bright red sweatpants. Written on both were the words dress code violation. Larkin just moved to Clay County from Seattle and was on her third day at a new school. She put out on the outfit in the bathroom and looked at herself in the mirror and just broke down. She started sobbing. She broke out in hives. A spokesperson from the Clay County School District says students who violate the dress code are given the option to stay in their clothes and go to in-school suspension, wear the sweats and t-shirt as punishment and go to class, or arrange for someone to bring them other clothes. Larkin says she was only given one option. I feel that by putting a kid in an outfit that says what they did wrong across their chest and down their leg is taking their private records and making them public and it's clear violation of their privacy rights. Larkin was able to leave school early and not face suspension, but her mother says the outfit she calls a shame suit violated her daughter's rights. She says she's filing a complaint with FERPA, the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, for making her daughter's discipline public.